what I'm saying? That's nothing to do with what I just asked him. How can I be sure? Because I believe that the Bible is the inspired word of God. Why do you believe that? Because it testifies of, of a lot of truth and reality. For example, well, not in my life, and, and also in other people. Give me an example. Give what, what do you mean? What does that mean? What does so, it mean? Does, does the New Testament claim to be the Word of God? Yeah. Where? It says that it is the Scripture is it was given by God. Okay. And this Scripture, which refers to in that in that uh, verse, what what Scripture is it talking about? Which scripture? Which scripture is it referring to? Scripture. Okay. That is but, but you're questioning whether... One second. Now, here's the problem. The Gospels were not written at the time of this letter. So when Paul wrote this letter to Timothy, there was no Gospels. So the Gospels can't be included in scripture. And the letter to Timothy said, as you know from your infancy. So this is now scripture that Timothy knows from when he was a child. What year was Timothy written? It was written by Paul, yeah? Paul wrote Timothy. Okay. Right, now, what year was that? Uh, it would have been... Um, just before Mark, so probably a 30 CE. Yeah? Now, here's the problem. Paul writes this letter to Timothy, telling Timothy about what's happened, telling Timothy, and now this is where he says, you know from your, your infancy that all scriptures is inspired from God. Yeah. Now, so now we're talking about scripture now that Timothy knows from his infancy. So it isn't the New Testament. Can't be. And we know that as well because the four gospels were not even written then either. So it can't be referring to that either. So other than this part, which you can't just place where you like, it, it has meaning, it has context. Yeah, Paul's writing a letter. Now, whether or not he was writing that as revelation, we don't know. We know it was made revelation later, but that's irrelevant. So where else does the New Testament, where does any of the gospel writers, for example, claim inspiration from God? About what they're writing. Where the gospel writers? So who are the gospel writers? Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Luke and John. Yeah. Which of those four gospel writers claim inspiration by God to write what they wrote? Did John receive a revelation from God? No. Where did they say, "I'm writing inspired by God"? Did Mark say that? Did they say they're writing it by Jesus? So, yeah. That's not the question. We're talking about inspired by God. But if you get a revelation, John at the, on the island of Patmos got the revelation. No, no, this is, this is later. We're talking about the four gospel, right? We're talking yeah. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Yeah, Mark, first one, Matthew, yeah. Luke, John. All right, so are you, are your point is that they're not valid. No, my point is, no, 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 no. My point is very simple. You made the claim that that's the word of God. The, this, the gospel writers never made that claim. So I'm asking you, on what grounds you make that claim? Are you, do you believe that? Do you believe the Quran is the word of God? No, I hold on to that scripture in Timothy, that all scripture. Yeah, but, which, but, but, uh, my, my no, I understand how you could take it. It's like some people could take verses out of the Quran out of context. You've taken this verse out of context because it doesn't apply to the whole of the New Testament. It only applies to Timothy in his infancy. Okay. New Old Testament, Old Testament, not New Testament. If you look at the majority of Bible scholars, they know this verse is referring to Old Testament prophecy. Yeah. Oh, are we saying that the other scriptures that came later are not perfect? What we're saying is the other gospel writes, writers never claimed any inspiration. Forget that, they never even told you who they were. They didn't even declare who they were. Yeah. But does it not say in the Quran that they used Nothing to do with what we're talking about. Stay on point. Yeah, speak, I'm staying on the point that the Injil are the Gospels. No. The Injil is not the Gospel. Oh, no. The Injil. the Injil is what... No. Of course not. Injil is what Jesus preached. Yeah. Jesus did not preach Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, the letters of Timothy and Paul and whatever. Yeah. Jesus didn't preach the New Testament. Jesus preached the Injil. Injilian in Greek. Which is the... The good news. The good news. Yeah. So Jesus taught that. Yeah. He didn't teach the letters of Paul. Didn't teach the epistles. Oh, about Matthew, Mark, no, 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 no. He didn't teach the gospels. We see that as the no. The gospels are uh, uh, recordings of what Jesus was doing. Mm. Yeah, they're not what Jesus did. They're not what Jesus. Not the words Jesus spoke. You understand? Oh, mate, isn't that connected? What, no, not at all. What he was saying, and what he was no, doing, you can't say the Injil. Right, you can't say the Injil is the New Testament when Jesus wasn't preaching the New Testament. See, there's not one doctrine of Christianity in the New Testament which Jesus taught. Jesus didn't teach salvation through the cross. Jesus didn't teach original sin. Jesus didn't teach none of these things. So we have to question. Okay. No, Paul, Paul taught original sin. No, 
all for so it's assuming well, they had sin. Well, no. Then you have to question who's saying what, and then you have to go if you want to read your book. Yeah. yeah. If you read Ezekiel, God is telling you clearly how you forget your sin forgiven. Ask for repentance. The wicked man, if he asks for repentance, won't be reminded of his iniquities. Well, yeah. He wants to turn to God. Yeah, alhamdulillah. But sin no more. No, no, no. The one who turns away from the iniquity, yeah, and comes back to God, turns to the law, yeah. Clearly, repentance is clear. If you're wicked and you repent to God. But do you think you can do that without the power of God working in your life? A hundred percent. Anyway, so what you're what you're believing as a Christian is what Paul taught. Now I'll go back to my original question: Why do you believe Paul met Jesus on the road to Damascus? I believe it's a contradiction. What, what Paul was preaching and what Jesus was preaching. Okay. I don't see that as a contradiction. Okay. So you thought. So basically, what the disciples taught, who sat, ate, walked, witnessed Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah. That's what they taught, and Paul taught what he had in his visions. And you're saying they were parallel. They don't contradict. I don't, oh. I don't see. Okay. Contradiction. Now, according God to speaks through visions and dreams today. Oh, Alhamdulillah. Okay. According to Paul, were the dietary laws rescinded? According to Paul, you could eat what you, any meat you like. Paul said this. He said we're not under the law. We're not under the diet. Right. So, so according to Paul, under ceremonial law, we don't eat that. Alhamdulillah. So under Paul, you could eat any meat, yeah. That's what he says. Yeah. That's that what Paul says. Said not, not to judge anyone. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. That's what he said. I know he does. So Paul. But anyway, to be honest with you. No, no, no. I'll show you why. I'm, I'm going to show you how you're wrong. What are you trying to do? Though? I'm going to show you how Paul and the disciples are not parallel. How important it is now to follow Allah because this doesn't. No, no. Sense. I'm going to show you how Paul and the disciples were not parallel. Yeah, they didn't teach the same. That Paul was teaching a doctrine that the disciples weren't teaching, which means Paul was teaching something Jesus didn't teach. For example, dietary law. You said Paul now claims all food is clean. Did the disciples believe that? Well, Jesus never said that, that you had to keep the law. The, sorry? to fulfill the law. Okay. Did the disciples of Jesus believe all food is clean? That's the same. Um, yes, it does. <laughs> Acts 10, Acts 15, it's very clear. The proclamation was made. Can't eat blood of an animal, can't eat sacrificed animal, uh, sorry, animal sacrificed an idol, can't eat a strangled animal. It's clear. So, and it no, 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 that, that is not talking about. Sorry? That's, that was, are you talking about the vision? No, that's Acts 10. That's Peter when he's told to eat, kill, and eat, and he says, I never eat from the unclean. And God says, Why did you make unclean what I've made clean? You think that makes all food clean? No. Because if you look at that vision, the, the, the blanket contained all the fowls of the earth. and the, So why didn't Peter just kill a goat, kill a sheep? Why does he think everything's unclean? Which, which was the scripture that you mentioned in the first place? Acts 15. Acts 15. Acts 15 is when the Council of Jerusalem... Have you got that? Yeah, of course I have. I have. Acts 15, I'll read it for you. So we've agreed Paul was teaching what? Eat what you like. <laughs> All food is clean. Don't worry about it. Eat what you might eat and what you like in the meat markets without fear of conscience, as you just said. I'll prove to you that the disciples were preaching, don't eat blood of an animal. What does that mean? You can only eat kosher. Yeah? Or halal. Yeah? That's what that means. Don't eat the blood of a strangled and sorry, don't eat the meat of a strangled animal. Don't eat the meat of any animal sacrificed to an idol. Okay. How relevant is that today? Well, the relevant is clear. The disciples are teaching. Really, to be honest, What's going on in the world? That's the last thing on my mind. Is what meat I should. Eat. No, but what it's showing you, what it's proving to you. As people dying all over the world at the moment. But what it's proving to you is very simple. Yeah, but, 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 but what it's proving. You know what I mean? Yeah, but the point is proving. Not well. If you think proving to you that Paul was preaching something different to the disciples of Jesus is wasting your time. That means you don't give a damn about the truth. I do. All right. Dietary laws. So I'm going to prove to you. Down there about like finding out. Well, it was prove to you that the disciples are preaching something that the Paul was preaching okay. something opposite well, do I need to show you or do you believe me but it, I mean, even if he me. does eat pork his sins are forgiven well that's not according to the disciples of Jesus let's, let's stick to the point now, here's a, see here's what you got to understand yeah are you following Jesus's teachings and the decisions of the disciples or are you teaching what Paul taught if you want to teach um, uh, follow what Paul taught that isn't what Jesus taught was there any difference in which means you ain't following Jesus in a moral aspect of the law because dietary laws isn't a great big thing to me at the moment. morally would they be on the same page in what sense morally about killing one another about stealing about worshipping one God was there a contradiction between the two I only have to show you this contradiction my friend okay because this means I don't think you understand the uh, importance of this 
Jesus? Because you have to ask yourself a question as a Christian now. If the disciples of Jesus prohibited this type of meat, why today as a Christian are you eating it? Who said you could eat it? What happened to the disciples of Jesus? What happened to Jesus when he says keep the laws? Why are the disciples keeping the laws and you're not keeping the laws? No, Jesus said it's not what goes into the mouth that makes you ugly. Oh, now you're quoting Mark, Mark 7? Yeah. Okay, what do you think that's that? teaching? Who said that? Jesus. No, what Jesus will say is more important what, what, what your heart is like. What's Jesus talking about what's in that? inside your heart what's Jesus rather than the okay. food that you eat. What's Jesus yeah? talking about? understand the importance of that. Okay. What's by speaking to you, I've got no reason in Mark to seven. You. In Mark 7, picking up. There's a lot of pride in, in Mark 7, you. in Mark 7, what do you think Jesus is teaching when he says that? Let's stick to this. Well, no, you just quoted Mark 7 now. Okay, yeah, but let's, you've been trying to get to that scripture. Well, you just said all foods are clean. You quoted Mark 7. Do you want to elaborate on Mark 7? He just did. Jesus made all foods clean. It's not what goes into man, makes him unclean, what comes out of him. Mark 7. No, that, to me, is giving the importance of, of making sure the heart is clean. Alhamdulillah, I agree. I agree. You eat. Do you understand? I agree. You can have a good heart without... I'm an atheist. Before you start. I'm in the well, middle. You can have a good heart without God. Yes, of course you can. I disagree. Oh, really? Why? Why do you, you just look around? Well, how do you know what's good? See. I've not killed anybody. I don't take... How do you know that's good? Have you ever so lied before? No, no. Okay. Do you drink alcohol? Yes. Is that good? I do, I do it. No, is it good? Yes, it's is it good for society? In moderation it is. Good. Oh, well it kills more men in this country than anything else. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. It doesn't. Oh, really? Who kills more people in the world? Religion. No, I said this country. Religion, my friend. They live in England, mate. Right, you go, yeah. They live in England, mate. Religion. Do you, do you want me to read you this Acts 15? Yeah, just tell me where it is, Acts 15. No, I'll read, I'll read it for you. Go on. You can carry on. Uh, no, the apostles and the... I'm only, I'm only saying, what kills more people in the world? What kills most people in the world throughout the ages? American soldiers. <laughs> really? <laughs> now the apostles and elders... Who was killing before America? Yeah, who was killing before America existed? Uh, Romans. British soldiers. Christians. British soldiers uh, that went to China. Christians. Right. Before, Christians before, killed before everyone. Before you carry on, just show me this one, yeah? Everyone. Christians killed everyone. There you are. I'm not a Christian. No, no. I'm an atheist. That's what I'm saying to you. Religion kills people. Uh, no, it doesn't. I've got 15. What was it? Was Hitler Christian? Hitler, Hitler was a Christian. You think so? No. You think so? Do you think he was following the teachings of Jesus? There you go. Come so on. anybody, anybody uh, anyway. and, and it is an atheism survival of the fittest. No, it's not about. Well, well, it is. It is. Listen, well, the the principles of atheism is the strongest survival. Listen, isn't it? I respect you. No, I respect you. I respect you. Yeah, I respect everybody. What I'm trying to say is religion is here on this world and nobody likes each other because of it. I disagree. You disagree? Yeah, I'll tell you why I disagree. Um, what what, 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 what fault do you support? Do you like the Jews? Yeah. Yeah. What fault do you support? No, what fault do you support? Nottingham Forest. Yeah. Nottingham Forest. So when you play uh, Leicester, are Derby, when you play Derby, yeah, yeah when you play Derby, watch any, when the, when the, Nottingham Forest away at Derby, yeah, yes. when uh, Nottingham Forest get a corner, just watch the fans in the corner. <laughs> Nothing to do with religion, mate. Right, anyway. Um, <laughs> football is a religion, yeah? Do you see that place? <laughs> yeah, so that's at United, that is. Anyway, now the apostles and elders came together to consider this matter. When there had been much dispute, Peter rose up and said to them, Men and brethren, you know what a good while ago God chose among us that by mouth the Gentiles should hear the word of the gospel and believe. So God, who knows the heart, acknowledges them by the government of the Holy Spirit and made no distinction between us and them purifying the house. Okay, I'll, I'll come down to the part that we're referring to. Uh, yeah, it's okay, it's okay. I'm just trying to... So you really believe that we need more godlessness okay. in society? Okay. Then it pleased the apostles and elders with the whole church to send those chosen men of their own company, Antioch, with Paul and Barnabas, namely Judas, who was also amongst Barnabas and Silas, leading men among the brethren. Okay. Since we've heard that some of you went out with us, you have troubled you with the words and set in your soul, saying you must be circumcised and keep the law, to whom we gave no such commandment. It seemed good to us no such being commandment. relax. It seemed good to us being assembled with one accord to send chosen men to you. Okay. We have therefore sent um, Judas and Silas who will also report the same things by word of mouth. For it seemed good to the Holy Spirit and to us lay upon you no greater burden than these necessary things, that you abstain from things offered to idols, from blood, from things strangled, and from sexual immorality. If you keep yourself from these, you will do well. This was what was proclaimed by the disciples of Jesus at the Council of Jerusalem. The Council of so Jerusalem. Was that about yeah, even sexual immorality means. as well. Blood, blood, blood. The, the Council was convened. The reason of the purpose of the Council was do new converts to Christianity have to be like Jews and keep the law? No, no. Paul was saying no, because we know. At the Council of Jerusalem, they don't have to be circumcised like Jews, but they have to keep the dietary law. 
This is what the... Um, where, where does it say how to keep your dietary though? It's talking about making sure you don't eat... No, uh, you abstain from things offered to food, idols. Food that no, 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 wait, 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 wait. That's different, that's idolatry. First thing, first thing. That's morality. Listen, there's a comma, yeah? Oh. Okay. <laughs> things offered to idols, yeah. from blood, from things strangled, and from sexual immorality. So these four things, they were commanded. Now, if you are to abstain from meat sacrificed to an idol, this means all food is not clean. This means you should eat with conscience. Yeah, this is not what Paul was teaching. And after this, Paul was told to go and repent. So I'm, all I'm saying to you is this, uh, just reflect on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because no, yeah? uh... I know what you're taught, and I'll repeat myself. Christianity is not the teachings of Jesus, like I say to you. Original sin came 200 years after Jesus. Yeah, Jesus never preached it. Yeah, it was taken from one of the letters of Paul by one of the church fathers. That's where original sin emerged. Let's, let's stick with this one. All right. No, 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 I know. But what you have to understand is this. If this is true, then you have to question something. Who changed that? Who? Who had the authority after the disciples of Jesus made this proclamation? Who tells you today as a Christian, don't worry what the disciples of Jesus say? It's been a pleasure, my friend. Take care. No, I'm just listening. I was listening. I was listening. Personalities. So we're the god of the sea, the god of the clouds, and this yeah, becomes superstition. Yeah. This becomes superstition. But there's always one, one god. There's always one point that it all goes back to. All of the religions. All the you know, go to go to the the Vikings. It's Odin. There's always one god at the end of it all. No, you, that, you get different religions that are not monotheist as well. No, no, but they all go back to one god. No, not all of them. Well, give me an example. You go to tribes in Africa. Tribes in. Uh, um, South America. Amazon. Is yeah. yeah. I, I, see, I can show you tribes in Africa and such yeah, who worship to one God. Now, we believe as Muslims that God sent messages throughout the world. Yeah. And people, men can only be judged on what they know. Yeah. Now, Christians believe you have to believe in the blood of Jesus Christ to be saved. So, how does an Eskimo know that? Or someone who lived before Jesus? There's no explanations. But what we believe as Muslims is that every prophet of God was a Muslim. And the reason they were Muslim, because a Muslim is one who does Islam and Islam means submission and surrender to God so for example Abraham submitted and surrendered his will to God according to the teachings of the Bible and the Quran yeah which makes him a Muslim by definition why because submission and surrender to God means Islam it doesn't mean he read the Quran and he followed Muhammad it means he submitted and surrendered his will to God that's all Islam is yeah so like I say you can look throughout the world but most of the time it goes back to one original God I that's, will read that's, that. I oh, that's fantastic that's Steve. To you. thank you very much I will read it, inshallah, and reflect on it, yeah? Because the beautiful thing about this, yeah, this is a challenge to you, Stephen, yeah. right? In, in science, you have something called, the, you're an atheist, okay? So in science, you have something called a falsification test. Now, this is what Albert Einstein, when he came up with the theory of relativity, he gave two falsification tests, or three falsification tests, to prove his theory wrong. So basically, this is what, I, this is what I'm saying, mm -hmm. and if you think I'm wrong, you need to do these three things, or one of these three things. If you can't, then I'm right, yeah? So the Quran is not one of these books that we say, oh, just believe it, Stephen, it's true. The Quran challenges you. Yeah, if you think anyone else could write this book, yeah, then question why are the errors that man make not here. If I have any questions, are you here every Sunday? I'm not. I'm a local lad, I only live down the road. Can I give you my local email? Local and lad so from I'm... Northwest. Hey? <laughs> You're from the Northwest. Can I give you my email? I'm originally from Nottingham, actually. Can I give you my email? Yeah, 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 yeah let me give you my email. Um, what, just I ask, just give us my pen and paper, sir, please. What are you from? Really in Bolton. Really in Bolton? Nice they come down to take care of you boys. Yes, all right. It's a lovely part. Are you in construction by any chance? Sorry? Are you in construction by any chance? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, I'm hey, right. I, I, was, I, was I, was, I was in the military 25 years. I don't want to shout that out too much, but I was in the military 25 years. Waste of my time. I had a good life. I don't agree where I was sent. kind of can of fodder, isn't I it? I don't agree where I was sent. But I have to do because I had a job. You were part of the machine, that's all. That's all, that's all you are. Wheel, that's that's all. all you are. But I, I, I didn't want to game, And I still today believe it was wrong going there. So you, you managed to travel all over the world? Right. Yes, I did. Can you read that? A B U. Yeah. All right. How just send me, name? Darren. Darren. Yeah. Just send me an email. Just say, look, thanks for giving me the Quran. When I've read a bit, I'll, so at least I got we got a where connection. Where are you from then in England? I'm originally from Manchester. We we know. Where do you oh, live? No, I live London? local now, East London. Oh, you live in East London. 
Peace, man. Tell me another question. If I want to visit the big mosque in Saudi, can I go? No, here in East London. In East London? Yeah, it's no problem. Can you go? Yes. Why don't you just take Yeah, I'll take you. I can just turn up and go. Can I'll take you. Would you, you like to go? I would like him. to see you. I'd all right, like Stephen, it's a date. All right? Like just see. message me. Yeah. Message me. Yeah. That's your ticket price, yeah? Yeah. All right, take care. Bad luck about Bolton if you support Bolton, by the way, innit? They're worse off than Forest, really, aren't they?